Hello everyone, we've got a new diecast model of a relatively new car that I never knew about. As usual, I'm learning about the real world by collecting small models. This is made by a great brand, X-Car Toys. I've really grown to like these guys. Uh, they make uh, you know inexpensive models or mid-priced models, but they have a lot of great details. Uh, what I'm not liking about this is a giant box, so it's just going to end up being garbage, you know. I, which is basically me throwing money into the trash can, you know. Uh, anyways, nice uh, packaging though, nice cool drawing. And then if you can read Chinese, I'm sure this is describing how about this vehicle came came to. Really nice sketches, professional design, of course. Okay, well let's open this. Yeah, there's some more Chinese stuff. No, oh, nice stats are already on here. So 1,300 kilograms. 3.9 seconds, 0 to 60 or 100, goes around 500 kilometers on a charge. This is an electric vehicle, if you haven't picked up on that. Uh, okay, some sort of suspend inboard shocks, like an F1 car. Let's see. You see, hopefully you can make that out. The horizon almost horizontal shocks, that's pretty neat. What's also interesting is it looks like it has a tube frame chassis, which is very old school. So, uh, I don't know what the deal is with that. That's quite interesting. So this thing is a perforation, this box. Let me back out again. Here we go. <laughs> I can't perforate it though. I think I literally have to remove it from the package so I can push that down. Okay, so now you can remove this card if you somehow, for some reason, want to display it in the box. That makes sense. Or maybe you just want to put this behind the model in a display cabinet. This is not a bad idea. <clears throat> Alright, so this is nice. It comes in a, well, a really massive box, which I don't like, but it comes with this to keep the plastic from scratching it up. Man, so sadly that's going to end up in your liver later on. Because where I live, that all ends up in the ocean, I think. Uh, this article is by China News, carnewschina.com. So it's saying 435 horsepower for around 42,000 bucks. That seems like a pretty good deal. Xiaomi makes, you know, scooters and uh, basically household items, vacuums and stuff like that. Really cool design. Uh, in fact, I own my electric screwdrivers from this thing. So we are, went over those stats there. Uh, nothing too important there. Nope. Sports car is the SC, and it's probably the number one, their first sports car this car company's doing. Mm, let's see what else is on this article. Oh, wheelbase of 2,500 millimeters. Uh, so we might as well check out the wheelbase. So I usually don't actually measure things that look real don't look suspicious. This doesn't look suspicious. It looks like it's 164 scale. But we'll, we'll do it anyways. Uh, I can see that there's a separate brake system just because you have those tabs there on the bottom keep, that keep the brakes from spinning with the wheels. 39.15 Yeah. I measured, you know, poorly, so I'm pretty sure this is 164 scale. And that seems to be the case with X-Car Toys. Uh, nothing really suspicious. Uh, they do make a Tianjin van, but they actually don't list it as 164, so nothing against those guys. Let's see what else might be in this article here. No, that's it. All right, so we'll leave. let's get these photos going here. And okay, I think it looks pretty good. Side profile, roofline, tail area, front area, side vent. Again, I would say that looks pretty good. Obviously, different wheels. And then with the two tail lights there. Right. 
So this is red here, it's quite a metallic. What I don't know is if it's actually a red metallic paint or if they shot this with silver and then a red translucent clear coat. That's actually what I'm thinking. I think it's actually a red clear coat over silver. I don't know if it's just the casting or if it was painted silver. I would have to assume it was painted silver first because I, I don't think you're going to get a casting to look this nice out of a mold. But I might be mistaken. I don't have a die cast factory. And this uh, there's a little bit of orange peel, but it's not worse than many other brands costing a lot more money. So, and it's definitely better than Hot Wheels. Uh, so, I guess I can't complain when I figure I figure the price in, which is cool. The rubbery mirrors, very neat, and they're color coded, so that's nice. All right, uh, I guess we'll start on the top today. We got some venting details here, and a really small uh, windshield wiper molded in there. You can see the dashboard is a uh, gray, and that's black, so that's nice. It's a, dip a different color. There's some sort of black area here over. I don't know what that is. Uh, you know, being an electric car, it doesn't have a an engine to my understanding. I don't know how many motors this thing may have. Uh, I just went off that one article so please chime in if you know like is there a motor in each wheel or is there two motors in the middle and then it's using drive shafts? I have no clue. This looks like it would be a speedometer you know far forward which is good for ergonomics. Uh, this uh, little black it looks like for the window molding. I think it's painted on the inside surface. The side windows there's a little bit of black it looks like there for this tiny quarter window and that's a recess, it's a groove. Actually that might not be paint it's just the if it's a physical groove it looks like a you know dark or a separate break so that's neat. We went over the mirrors again really tight panel gaps it's smaller than the toothpick so that's why again X-Car Toys is really good that's a really tight panel gap for a die cast model. Alright. Uh, I don't know if the real car has a... Yeah, it does have a vent here. But uh, there's no black paint on this model. Okay. And then the wheels. The wheels are nice. They look like Alfa Romeo wheels, actually. Yeah, you got the five lug nut details, the center cap, and then you can see that yellow brake caliper. And you have slotted... Well, not slotted cross-drilled brakes but they're at an angle so very neat the tire itself I guess is I don't know mm, I guess it's okay and look at the pictures now I feel like they should curve more they look very flat it's like the sidewall is too tall and flat they should have started a radius earlier you don't need to see tread blocks on a road going car I don't know why they love to do that I mean it's fine to have tread blocks down here you really don't need to have it, I think, from the side view. While we're down here, it's nice that this brand, you know, across, uh, not, not, what am I looking for? Screws their things together. Two uh, Phillips screws, 164, a copyright ish date, so that's nice. The, what it is, X Car Toys made it, and that's probably the X Car Toys brand in Chinese. So, very good. Oh, yeah, before I forget. Whoa, it makes a noise. Hold on, listen to this. Okay. So this is the first review in over a thousand that I've had a, a model car make noise like that. This would be the f one time where I think if those tread blocks affect the sound of this, then I'm okay with it because that's kind of neat. So whoever likes rolling models and actually has a Hot Wheels track, do a video. I'd be curious to, and it'd be interesting to know what this sounds like or would the plastic track absorb that sound. I don't know. But if you rolled it down like a hard panel, maybe a big piece of wood or a glass table or something, it'd be interesting to, to know how much, how much sound it makes. I, this is a piece of future board though. It's like that hollow gridded plastic and maybe that's getting some resonance in there. Sorry I'm dwelling on that but that's the first. It's 
So that's a very rare case, the first case actually, of having a diecast model make noise like that. We seem to have like a bump here, it's probably like a running light. It's not in the photographs though, so maybe this is modeled later. What I'm also noticing missing from the model, but it's in the photographs, is there's a silver circle here. I don't know if that's a door handle or just a logo, but it's not on this model, but it's in the side photograph and the rear photograph. All right, moving to the front. It's nice that the license plate has, you know, some text on it, so that's cool. There's also black way back in there. That vent goes pretty deep, and so that's probably like a brake duct or something. And then what do we have here? Ah, yes, so I think that's a logo there. Let's try to get in on it, though. Yes, yeah, it's just a triangular logo. Is that what's on the side? Okay, so it's a logo on the side. All right. Uh, headlights. Oh, that's interesting. There's no glass. It's just molded. Uh, Choroku does this actually very often. It's not a... Uh, I don't know. It's not bad. You know, I'm looking at the photograph. I'm not even sure if the real car has a piece of glass or a piece of plastic covering up the lights. It might just be exposed, just like this model. You'll, you'll have to look at some other photographs than the ones I pulled up. But this might actually be accurate. There might not actually be a piece of clear plastic over this area. So the silver headlights have a depression. There's a little deep depression there. But I don't see anything in there on the real photos. And same with... Well, no, that just curves out. All right. This side, I don't see any quality control problems so far, so that's another thing with X-Car toys. I don't think I've had any QC problems, any major ones at least. License plate looks good again, the logo I guess looks good again. And then these are interesting taillights, they look like a turbine. I almost think they might be translucent, let me get the flashlight. Mm, I don't know, let's go to one lumen. No, maybe they're just painted, just die cast and painted. So, it looks like then, let's go on the right one. I guess they must have just painted the whole thing this red, and then they put some silver there, but they left a little bit of the red there, so it looks like a red ring. And then this is just black paint in here. I For painted taillights, I think they're great. So that's, that's nice. And again, no QC problems. I don't see any defects in this paint. No, like, no little bits of sand or any scratches in the casting. So, very impressive. Very good. I guess that's everything, except for the interior. Now, that side glass is so distorted. Let's see what we can see through the side glass. Almost nothing. Oh, well, no, there's a red seat. And then some openings. I'm going to open this thing up. Hold on a second. Let's get uh, the flashlight out of here. So that, again, is the beauty of the screwed together base. Construction-wise, there's nothing even holding the glass up there. You'll see this is totally air. Interesting. So then that glossy part, part was part of this thing. But is it a separate piece or just a paint app? I'm not sure. So yeah, the seats are fine. The steering wheel looks fine. Oh, I think there's a logo on the steering wheel. Yeah, seems to be a triangular logo. Very Spartan interior though. I'm gonna guess that a real car would probably have more going on in the inside than that. But maybe this... Maybe they w weren't finalized by when they were making this uh, model. They had no idea what the interior looked like, so just kind of made stuff up. Maybe even today, they, they don't even know what the interior is going to end up being for the production car. I'm not even sure if this thing's being sold yet. Okay. And then, well, what is weird is uh, the axles are actually trapped. You actually have the whole fender, fender well cast in the rear, and most of it in the front. But uh, what that does is it makes it difficult to take a wheel off if you did want to swap them out for something else. But I don't see a need to swap them because uh, I like the brakes and all that stuff in there. So two little 
pins holding that in place before you yeah, it's kind of loose, kind of wobbly. Yeah, it goes on nicely. Oh, maybe not. Let me uh, pause. All right, comparison time being a two-seater. We got a standard reference of mine as the first gen Miata because I used to own one. That's a small car though in real life and it definitely is smaller than this newer one. Cars get bigger over time. Here's a poorly named Tesla Roadster. It's not a Roadster at all, it's a coupe. And who made this? This one is by Mini GT, by the way. There's a lot of brands making these, but Mini GT did a good job. I like their rubbery mirrors. But we'll talk about Mini GT in a moment at the end here. Who made this? Time Micro. Time Micro, yeah. It's pretty nice. No brakes, though. No brakes in the Mini GT either. This Mini GT didn't come with brakes, but I 3D printed my own. This is the Taycan, and I repainted the interior because Mini GT does the screwed together bases, which is fantastic. No whizzing noise. I'm checking for noise now. That's a big car, of course. And then just to keep up with the good old X car toys, here's the Mini EV. Just a tiny economy car. I put it on a license plate and the putty, it's just putty, so that's why I moved. So very cool, very cool little cute car. And then X-Car Toys did the 6x6 version. This is actually a real vehicle. It's based on that mini, the pink one, but they added an extra axle. This one has exposed axles though, so I took a black Sharpie. And then uh, it's not so bad. So let's get a top view of these guys. Microphone cable is getting in the way, so I gotta get that out of there. Alright. So, speaking of Mini GT, this thing is better than a Mini GT in many instances, mainly the brakes. Every one of my Mini GTs, I have to put my own 3D printed brakes in. Look how much this thing cost. Plus shipping. That's less than what I pay for a Mini GT. Yet this has a screwed together base. And if you're, for some reason, it's important, there's a metal base. Uh, and then the brakes. And the multicolor interior. The only thing that's really missing are plastic headlights and taillights. I'm also noticing there's some silver in the mirrors, actually. So that's nice. A Mini GT doesn't do that, but Mini GT almost always gives you plastic headlights and taillights, so that's definitely a plus on their side. Uh, so it kind of washes out actually, except for that it still is cheaper. So it's interesting. This is why I like X Car Toys. The only problem with X Car Toys is they don't really do anything mainstream. They they're like a Chinese toy company making Chinese vehicles. Uh, they seem to do things legally. So that's why they're not making random Pontiac GTOs and things without a license, licensing approval. But I do really wish that uh, X-Car Toys would reach out to other car companies and get some licensing approval. Because they're clearly capable of making a great model. I think they're picking up where, you know, Kyosho left off. Kyosho doesn't seem to care about this whole industry anymore. And it seems like they're already at the Mini GT level. And frankly, I think Mini GT is probably the second best, maybe, brand in diecast. And I think NO64 or LCD, they're kind of tied for first. Uh, LCD just doesn't make many models. That's why you can't really say they're number one. NO64 does make a lot of models, but they cost a lot more money than uh, these brands we've, this one. All right, so I'm just spreading that out there because there's always new people coming into the hobby. So if someone asks, you know, what brands would you recommend? I would recommend Mini GT. Pretty much that's where I would start. Uh, Greenlight, Auto World, any American brand, they're kind of garbage. They just don't look like real cars. I still collect them anyways because, heck, I collect Choro Qs. I collect weird, cute toys, uh, in case you haven't seen my other videos. 
But actual things that look like real cars, I would start with Mini GT. Just skip all the other ones and start there. If you have more money, buy an own 64 and anything beyond that. Tarmac works and, you know, that level is fine. But this is another one I'm going to throw in there. It's just that you have to only like Chinese cars. So, and trucks and military vehicles and airplanes. x -Car Toys makes a lot of different things. Okay, that's a long video. Thanks for watching. See you in the next one.